Right. Donald Trump was not legitimately elected president of the United States. He lost the popular vote by 200,000 votes, and we have this relic of the Electoral College that suddenly made him president. It's ridiculous. <clears throat> Throughout the United States, <clears throat> in at least 30 states, large numbers of legitimate American citizens who had the right to vote were stripped of the right to vote with computer programs, with other requirements like photo ID, which are not legitimate and even illegal in many cases, through intimidation, through the um, shrinking of the number of precincts available. Every ruse that you could come up with was used to deny legitimate voters the right to vote in this country, in this election, and they clearly were numer in, in strong enough numbers to have denied Donald Trump the White House. You also have electronic flipping, where in a uh, electoral setup dominated by electronic voting machines, a governor and a secretary of state have the physical power to flip the electronic vote count within a matter of 60 seconds on midnight, the night of an election. Looking at the exit polls indicate that this, in fact, was probably done, as it was done in Ohio 2004 and Florida 2000. In key swing states, which would not exist, by the way, in a system which, where we directly elected the president, we have, the, the only swing states exist because we have an electoral college, which is a relic of slavery. And so, uh, essentially, in Florida, Ohio, North Carolina, Michigan, uh, key states that swung the election, uh, in a very close electoral vote count, by the way, um, we, we clearly see indication that electronic voting uh, was flipped and that Donald Trump was not the legitimate winner. So if you add it up, if you add the stripping of the voter rolls of hundreds of thousands of legitimate voters, mostly black and Hispanic, that would have voted and may well have voted for Hillary Clinton, uh, but were, were either stripped in the beforehand, in other words, not allowed to vote, or went in and cast provisional ballots that will never be counted, or turned away at the polls, or intimidated on the way to the polls. You have a very clear indication that Donald Trump was not the legitimate winner in this election, and that once again, um, as in Ohio 2004 and in Florida 2000, other instances in American history, this is the sixth time again we've had a, a, a clear loser become the president. And in this case, you know, Jim Crow, the Jim Crow drug law, which disenfranchised so many people, uh, the computer uh, rigging of the, uh, the, the voter rolls, the uh, electronic rigging of the vote count, the uh, discarding of provisional ballots, uh, right down the line, we do not believe that Donald Trump was the legitimate winner in this election. And that's what the polls say. Uh, the key thing people need to understand is that if this election occurred anywhere else in the world, the United States State Department would not acknowledge it as valid. The exit polls would have indicated a illegitimate election with irregularities. And we might have sent in troops. <laughs> to, to make them redo the election. So, you know, the, the election by international standards, by the U.S. State Department, by the Agency on International Development, who's written books and pamphlets on this, is that this is not a legitimate election. It needs to be investigated uh, and done over. And that's what would happen if it was outside the United States, like the Ukraine. That's absurd. The election is illegitimate.